Sanjay, why did you set up Sanjfest? Sanjfest was originally set up from Landlord Farming, yeah? Yeah. And uh, the reason we did it was really to get out there, help estate agents that are stuck and really helping them to become unstuck because coming to your conferences previously, you know, people are wanting to network with like-minded people, you know, their problems, they want to share those problems and try and get unstuck. So really, that was the fundamental issue of, you know, bringing Sanjfest together. But I mean, let's be frank, Sanjay, but when I was doing the conferences, we had 50, 60 people in it, and it's all of a sudden, you're flying Tom Panos in, one of the world's, if not the world's best real estate coaches. What, how, why did you all of a sudden want to make that jump? Because for me, my, my thing's always been, having not been an estate agent all my life, I've come from a gaming sector, and you know, from what I saw around the UK, I felt that we needed to sort of go outside of the UK, get some fresh thinking, fresh ideas, and you know, who better than Tom Panos? You know, I looked all around the world, I decided this was the man that could help our agents in the UK really start thinking about a different type of mindset and more importantly, you know, start looking at the personal branding that's been working really well in Australia. Uh, what did you think Tom added to the last Sanchfest? And probably Tom, jump in at any time as you see fit. I think, he, again, he's added the fact that, look, there's nothing without hustle. And I think that was a confirmation with Tom being there in the flesh. Because, again, I know a lot of UK agents follow Tom with his real estate gym, his Sunday night rant. It was really having him in the room was really, really important. And getting that message across and the amount of people that have actually call me after Sanchez to say, you know, Tom was fantastic, hence here he is again for Sanchez 3. And um, it's just a different outlook on what, you know, I'm trying to sort of get other agents to really change their mind and try and do something a bit different. Tom, what are you bringing to the party of Sanchez 3? Um, I think things have changed in the real estate sector over the last 18 months. The language and dialogue has expired. Just like milk and bread has an expiry date, so has language. So what I'm going to be doing is bringing what does modern language look like to the consumer of 2019. The second thing that's changed dramatically and I'm going to bring to the party is the use of social media now is probably one of the biggest influences on when a consumer is going to select the, select an estate agent. So I'm going to talk about the algorithm changes. I'm going to talk about what to do and what not to do on the various platforms. The third thing I'm going to talk about is what are the processes, rituals and habits of estate agents that are transacting more than 100 properties a year that are writing more than 500,000 pounds per year in fees. And I'm going to talk about that um, at Sanchez 3. Okay, but surely Australia is a different country. What the hell are the Aussies going to teach us Brits? Um, so it's a different country. However, the actual real estate markets are very similar. And that is, we have disruptors that are charging set fees which is only a fraction, sometimes 10 or 20% of the traditional agent. So that is a common theme. What's the going rate for an estate agent in, in Australia? So um, somewhere between 2 to 3%. Okay. Right? And the disruptors, you know, are coming in at set fees sometimes of, you know, $5,000, you know, $4,000. What percentage would that roughly, we're talking about like half a percent, something like that? Uh, in some markets, it's actually, you know, less than half a percent. Okay. Yeah. Now, in Australia at the moment, it's really tough housing market. What are you going to teach us at Sanchez 3, the Brits that come along? Oh, it's open to anyone, isn't it? But about what you can do in a tough market. Um, how to actually get listings without overpricing them. 
So we're going to talk about the narrative that you give to a vendor. Um, we're going to show the various strategies that can realign the value of an owner and have it reduced by 10 to 15 percent within 14 days. You know, like, you know, we, we clearly know that low offers blame the market, no offers blame the agent. So we're going to spend a lot of time showing how you actually can extract offers out of the marketplace. Um, I'm going to cover um, a marketing set and forget program that is lead generation, no different to what Coca-Cola or Nike or Tesla or any large corporation does to actually get their phones ringing. So I'm going to cover a set and forget 12, mar 12 month marketing plan. And are you there to try and sell uh, places to your real estate gym or is it just you're just there to give? Right. I'm known so it's super clear because maybe some of the people in the UK have never attended a conference. Because let's me. be honest, you go to an awful lot of conferences and sometimes they do try and sell you stuff. I mean, Sanjay, I'm sorry to jump in. What Are we going to be sold to at Sanjay Fest 3? No. I mean, I think we need to clear this up because obviously I've had a few people saying to me, oh, I didn't like Sanjay Fest 2. It was more like a sales uh, pitch, a sales fest. I think what people have also got to understand, right, is some of these guys that were calling me, telling me about this, the irony is some of them have actually gone on some of the courses that were being sold, all right? I think what people have got to understand is development research, whether it's in this training world, in Apple, whatever, costs a lot of money. Now, you know, a lot of these guys, they're not going to just do everything for nothing, all right? And that's one of the big differences. You know, your question earlier to Tom, the Australian market, the agents there, seem to invest a lot of money in their self-development compared to the UK market. The UK market, hence why Sanchfest was another reason to be born, that we want serious owners coming to this event who and are staff. really interested, and, and staff. staff, yeah, but who are really interested in wanting to move their businesses on and also to improve their own self-development. Okay, I'm, I'm, so who else is on? Who else is going to be speaking at well, Sanchfest? Well, at the moment, I've already, you know, published size. We've got Matt Giggs. We've got Paul Long, who's talking about oh, he's fantastic. Facebook. We've You'll got, see him, Tom. He can teach you good. a few things. Oh, fantastic. Well, oh, Paul make, Long. well, I'm going to look, you know, when, when I go to a conference, and particularly that I'll be, you know, flying 25 hours to get to it, um, I sit there both as a student and as an instructor. So I'm going to make sure that I sit through those sessions. Royston Guest. Oh, he's, he's coming. Amazing. He's Love coming back. Royston. Um, we've got Richard got Rawlings. Oh, you got Richard Rawlings? Yeah, absolutely. So a guy who's been in, you know, the industry 30 years. Yeah. And, you know, he's a guy that I've got to say, personally, I moved to 2% sales fees as a direct result of going to one of Richard's seminars. So I have a lot of time for Richard. And I think, again, top, he's top just man. come back from Cape Town where he was telling me people are charging 5 to 7% in estate agency fees. You know, Amazing that's a dream. Job we need to start you know working towards that we've also got uh, charlotte morgan one of our first female speakers charlotte's going to be d talking about well-being you know a successful agent in surrey well, it's emotional isn't it we, we talked about that earlier yeah didn't we? Yep. yeah so, and she so. wants to talk about you know the morning rituals as well so she's got some great topics to discuss as well uh, a couple more people we've got tony morris from sales doctor oh, excellent. again he's sharing some of his okay. uh, gold okay. nuggets yeah um we've got yourself mr watkins you know the video man that's worth the ticket price alone <laughs> well i'm going to teach people how to get over their fears of going on video and actually i can guarantee you if they do the videos they'll get 20 percent growth in both resi sales and lettings yeah. guaranteed and coming back to your question of selling there's no selling yes yeah, right? so it's all about i've content. had to sign in blood it's all content and more importantly you know i've said okay. i want people to leave that event on the friday the 14th of june implementing real things okay. actually at the event as well okay. tom one final thought no people go to these conferences but don't implement it what are you going to say to the people that go along to these events write it all down and don't put it into action um well i'm going to make it very easy for them because one of the things that I do in my training courses, I actually give them 
a presentation that is able to be executed afterwards. And you're going to do that at some Yeah, so it's part of my deal. Like, you know, and one of the reasons I can tell you that there's no selling from me is that um, Sanjay is paying me a fee and expenses to come here. That's the deal. I get paid for that. So I don't have to actually sell any products to get paid. Part of the arrangement is that I want to ensure that there's execution. So I'm not going to rely on people taking some very ordinary notes, which sometimes people do, and I'm going to be providing them a copy of the presentation that's got some actionable items. So when they leave Sandsfest, they can go to their office and say, okay, here are seven things that I'm going to go off and execute in my business because training seminars that have ideas without executions are delusions. And I can confirm to you, that's not what they're gonna be getting from me. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you both on the 14th of June. Thank you. Thank you.